Hi, welcome to our Pharma Topics channel. Uh, this is the first series of uh, M Farm Pharmacology uh, subject uh, principles of drug discovery. In this, uh, before entering into the subject, let us see the basic terminologies which are used in this subject. First is uh, what is drug design? It is an integrated approach which basically involves various steps such as chemical synthesis, evaluation of activity spectrum, toxicological studies, biotransformation and study of metabolites, formulation research and biopharmaceutics and assay procedures. Next is uh, what is target identification? In drug discovery, targets are the causes of the particular disease, which may be enzymes, receptors, drug transporters or nucleic acids. Example, antifolate drugs targeting dihydrofolate reductase, example is methotrexate, beta adrenergic receptor blockers, example atenolol. Next is what is target validation? It is the process by which the predicted molecular targets are verified. The target validation can include usage of uh, suitable animal models through knockdown or overexpression of the presumed target. Next is uh, what is a hit? It refers to a small molecule or compound that has shown promising activity against a particular target in the early stages of the drug discovery. Next is hit identification. Hits are usually found through large scale screening of chemical libraries where thousands or even millions of compounds are tested against a specific biological target or assay. Next is lead. It is a chemical compound that has pharmacological activity likely to be therapeutically useful but nevertheless have the suboptimal structure that requires modification to fit better for the target. Lead optimization. It is the process by which the lead compounds are modified and subsequently characterized to obtain the compound with the suitable properties to become a drug. Next is genomics. It is characterization of the human gene expression which allows uh, drug design strategies to improve therapeutic outcomes. Uh, the branch of it is pharmacogenomics which allows individualized therapy. For example, functional genomics is useful in treatment of cancer. Proteomics. It is used in drug discovery. It provides information about signaling pathways of proteins, disease pathogenesis and interaction of drugs with proteins. Next is bioinformatics. It is the application of computational technologies to organize biological data in drug discovery. The data sets included in bioinformatics are genome sequences, protein macromolecular structures and integration of experimental data from various researchers. Microarray. It is a multiplex lab on chip used to detect the expression of numerous biological interactions. It analyzes a large number of genes or proteins at one time, which helps in diagnosis of diseases and drug development processes. Next is DNA or nucleic acid microarray. It is also known as gene chip, DNA chip or biochip. It either measures the DNA or uses the DNA as a part of detection system. There are four different types of DNA microarrays. They are complementary DNA microarrays, oligo DNA microarrays, bacterial artificial uh, chromosome that is BAC microarrays and SNP that is single nucleotide polymorphism microarrays. Protein microarray, it is also known as uh, protein chips, miniaturized uh, protein assay system. It characterizes thousands of proteins interactions and activities of proteins to determine their function. It is of three types analytical protein microarrays, functional protein microarrays and reverse phase protein microarrays. Next is uh, what is antisense technology? It is a method to inhibit or downregulate the production of the target protein using antisense DNA or RNA molecules which are complementary to each other. Example, the antisense uh, oligonucleotide inhibitor of APOP is used to treat familiar homozygous hypercholesterolemia. It is a rare disorder. Next is oligonucleotides. They are short strings of synthetic uh, nucleotides with high specificity and uh, for the target molecules such as mRNA or uh, non-coding RNA. It is useful in gene therapy. 
Next is uh, SI RNA. It is also known as silencing RNA or short interfering RNA. Approximately it contains 20 to 24 pair of nucleotides. It is a non-coding double strand uh, DNA or RNA. Uh, targets a particular RNA and degrades it. Zinc finger proteins. It's a common DNA binding domain which is identified in uh, 1985. In a, in a transcription factor TF2A in uh, Xenopus levis, it is an African clawed frog. It is involved in cell development and differentiation. In pathogenesis, uh, it is involved in tumorigenesis. So it is useful in development of drugs for specific targets. Next is transgenic animals. These are the animals with modified genome. A foreign gene is deliberately inserted into the genome of the animal to alter its DNA. It is useful in biomedical research. Combinatorial chemistry. It involves generation of large array of structurally diverse compounds in a single process. The creation of large libraries of molecules in a short time is the main advantage of combinatorial chemistry over the traditional methods of drug discovery. Next is high throughput screening. It is automated testing of large number of chemical or biological compounds for a specific biological target. For example, through drug binding assays. It's a tool for running millions of biological or chemical tests in a short span of time. Next is what is in silico? It means experimentation performed by computer using software stimulations to predict in vitro and uh, in vivo results and screen larger library of uh, lead compounds in a short span of time that facilitates drug discovery. Protein domains. It's a region of uh, the protein's polypeptide chain that is self-stabilizing and folds independently from the rest. Each domain forms a compact folded uh, three-dimensional structure. There are four domains of uh, protein structure which are primary, secondary, tertiary and quaternary. It represents the functional region of a protein. Next is protein motifs. It's an arrangement of secondary structures of protein molecule which is not stable whereas the domain is stable and does not depict a functional role. Motifs are unable to fold independently and often do not perform a specific function thus discriminating the motifs from protein domains. They are super secondary structures. For example, helix loop, helix. Protein folds. It's arrangement of secondary uh, structures of a protein domain that share some structural similarities. For example, alpha, alpha, beta, beta. Next is homology modeling. In case of homology modeling, there exists at least one another homologous protein to the protein uh, which could be modeled and in which the structure has been already resolved. Threading. It refers to alignment through computational methods for predicting the structure of a protein from an amino acid sequence. Threading is used when we do not have a homologous structure. NMR in uh, protein structure prediction. Nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy is a well established method for analyzing the protein structure, its interactions and dynamics at the atomic resolution and in various sample states including solution state, solid state and membranous environment. X-ray crystallography in protein structure prediction XRD. It reveals the precise three dimensional positions of atoms in a protein molecule. It relies on the ability of the proteins to form crystals that diffract the X-rays. Rational drug design. What is rational drug design? It is an inventive uh, process of finding new medications based on the knowledge of the biological target. It has three steps. Identification of the disease target, structural and functional characterization of the identified target and designing a molecule to fit into it. Pharmacophore. It is the molecular framework uh, that carries the essential feature uh, features are responsible for a drug's biological activity. Bioactive functional groups within, with interatomic distances are called pharmacophores. Virtual screening. It is a computational technique used in drug discovery uh, to search libraries of small molecules in order to identify those structures which are most likely to bind to the drug target, typically a protein receptor or an enzyme. Drug likeness screening. 
it analyzes the common features uh, present in a lead molecule and predicts the druggable properties of it the methods of drug likeness screening include simple counting method functional group filter method topological filter method and pharmacophore filter method molecular docking it anticipates the favorable binding orientations of drug candidates to form a stable complex against the protein targets in order to predict the affinity and the activity of the drug it is uh, similar to assembling of jigsaw puzzle rigid docking when the ligand and the receptor are both treated as rigid bodies the search space is minimal then we look for a transformation in the 3d space of one of the molecule which could bring a optimal fit to each other semi flexible means uh, one of the whether the protein or the ligand will be kept as rigid usually the proteins will be kept as rigid and the ligand will be allowed to flex flexible docking the docking molecules are flexible both the protein and the ligand may be flexible uh, it can calculate the rotations of one of the molecule usually the smaller one is performed every rotational energy is calculated and the optimum force is generated manual docking binding group on the ligand and binding site are known defined by the operator it is done using uh, molecular visualization software often in conjunction with the hardware for stereo viewing de novo drug design it refers to design of novel chemical entities that fits a set of constraints using computer algorithms de novo means from the beginning that is in this method one can generate new chemical entities without a starting template manual docking binding group on the ligand and binding site are known defined by the operator uh, using molecular visualization software often in conjunction with the hardware for stereo viewing structure activity relationship it explains the relationship between the 3d structure of a molecule for example molecular geometry electronic structure and its crystal structure and its biological activity quantitative structure activity relationship which is qsar it is a simple mathematical relationship between the biological activity of a drug and its physiochemical properties it ties a collection of predictor variables or independent variables in the x axis to the potency of the response variable y or a dependent variable for example biological activity may be dependent on the different properties such as molecular weight log p like that physico chemical properties it describes the physical and chemical properties of drugs physico chemical properties uh, can be classified as molecular properties such as molecular weight dipole moment polarizability van der waals volume and surface area and bulk properties include partition coefficient solubility etc hans analysis it is uh, laid on the basis of uh, development of uh, it has led to the basis for the development of qsar it combined the hydrophobic constant with hammett's electronic uh, constants to yield a linear equation free wilson analysis in qsar approach it incorporates the contribution made by various structural fragments to overall biological activity in this approach uh, the substitution constants are considered regression analysis regression analysis is a powerful statistical tool in qsar that allows examines the relationship between two or more variables of interest multiple linear regression a linear regression it's a common technique multiple linear regression is a broader class of regressions that encompass linear and non linear regressions with multiple explanatory variables partial least square regression in this method uh, it reduces the variables used to predict to a smaller set of predictors it's a subset of mlr uh, these predictors are used to perform the regression it's a novel robust method which is advanced when compared to mlr 3d qsr it is a natural extension uh, to the classical hans and free wilson uh, approaches which exploits the three dimensional properties of ligands to predict their biological activities comfa comparative molecular field analysis is an alignment dependent descriptor based all aligned ligands are actually placed in energy grid and energy at uh, and every probe is kept at each point 
the computed values uh, serve as a descriptors for model development the descriptor values are correlated with the biological responses employing a robust linear regression method like partial least squares comsia its comparative molecular similarity indices analysis its ligand based alignment dependent and linear 3d qsr method it's a modified version of comfa five different uh, similarity fields are calculated like uh, steric electrostatic hydrophobic uh, hydrogen do bond donor and hydrogen bond acceptor prodrug biologically inactive or pharmacologically inert drug that is metabolized in the body to become active it is called a prodrug so these are the basic terminologies uh, which are used in this subject i hope it will be useful for you thank you for listening happy learning kindly share this to more of your friends if you like this video kindly press the like button thank you go through all the series uh, which will be useful for for your understanding the subject thank you